Hello everyone. Good morning and um, good afternoon. Good evening wherever you are. Uh, today I took up the topic of uh, court coverage report. Okay. Let me go into the topic. What is court coverage? Okay. These are the topics today I am going to cover. And before I get start with the court coverage, let me recap all the uh, the old video which I posted in a YouTube uh, related to the unit testing framework. Uh, in this video you can find uh, details about how can we write the unit testing using the fake framework. Okay. So it is recommended that you should uh, watch this video before you get into the code coverage. Okay. Let uh, me go to the second topic where what is the code coverage? So we have written our business logic, all the functionalities which is required for our application and uh, in certain point business want to make sure that uh, how confident your code is. Example, when you are write, we are writing any codes for our application, business definitely want to make sure that uh, the functionality which we return for the particular sprint or uh, if any other project model they want to make sure before we get into the testing so once we wrote the code uh, obviously we will be going for uh, uh, dev testing SIT testing UIT pre-prod and a lot more out there integration interlock performance testing all the states testings are make sure that our code is working fine with individual performance and also how it is reacting when integrated with other applications okay actually code coverage is helping uh, to make sure that the functionality we return is perfectly working or not uh, one good example is like when we are writing uh, any functionality for adding a two numbers a plus b uh, when we are writing unit test for the uh, addition of two numbers uh, the testers uh, in nothing but the developer who testing uh, using the unit testing framework okay, ha he has to manage, make sure that whether it is uh, when I am giving two inputs as in positive it working fine if I give negative or alternative is a negative if I give zero how the code is reacting all those things we need to test so code coverage it will shows that how much you tested on a particular line of functionalities okay let me go to this uh, second uh, topic what is the need of code coverage as i told uh, just now that uh, business want to make sure that how confident your code will perfectly work on the production environment okay the fourth one is how to take a code coverage report in visual studio that was very uh, easy one visual studio provide a lot of opportunity to uh, just create a code coverage even we have a lot of other tools which is available in market which is paid and a free version also so here we go like uh, I have opened a visual studio uh, you have you are seeing the project in a solution explorer of right side which is uh, I created uh, this unit testing project for the topic number one means how to write unit testing so I'm just continuing with the videos what I posted early okay so this is my unit testing okay I have written one unit testing uh, for that method validate and then uh, uh, this is the method it's nothing but my actual core if you want to know more details about the code please go through that uh, video which I shown uh, in the point number one okay okay mm. I have my unit testing is up and running and then I have my actual business logic which is under the name of class library dot sample so in the menu we need to go for uh, analyze code coverage and then all test so this will show uh, code coverage uh, which is related to this application okay let me press this what is happening So code is built successfully and uh, this is the window of code coverage so I'm seeing the code coverage how much I covered covered percentage block is 45.45 45 
and then uh, covered block is 10 and not covered is 54.55 so if your code is 100 percentage cover uh, it means that it's very good you have tested all the flows like if else catch exceptions all those functions flows are you tested it means okay so this is how you can use uh, take code coverage report and the fifth point is what is rent settings file usually uh, even in my organization which I am working uh, when people ask uh, or a business has to take a code coverage for a particular solution they just go uh, whatever I told like uh, test ran all code coverage just all test but this is not an actual approach we should do what we should do that we should have a rent setting files where we can control the unit testing okay why i need to use the rent setting files example uh, in this solution you can you are seeing the two projects and if you go to the real time you probably see the 10 20 hundreds of libraries are included in a particular solutions out of 100 certain libraries i i definitely not required example unit testing which you used to get the coverage of code why I should use this as a code coverage report and uh, contracts like the DTOs and the variable supporting class which you are returning for supporting your application definitely we should not need a uh, code coverage for that okay in other way for what are the functionalities we need a code coverage we need code coverage only for the business logic not for the data access layer not for the presentation layer we need only the business layer okay so this is my actual business layer where uh, uh, here i didn't in include the data, data access layer and presentation layer here so in real time my application probably you have a web application before or any other uh, maybe wco service consuming this functionality at the end of uh, your application probably you get in touch with some database to get those details and do some business operations in the business uh, library and finally you return that output to the presentation layer here we no need that uh, data access layer and presentation layer okay so how can we avoid so this is the rent setting file once you created uh, added the visual studio unit testing project this will automatically create okay so these are the basic settings which Visual Studio will automatically put like um, uh, the name and where it is referring, what are the DLLs it is required to run the unit testing, all those. In this, important one is we need to check model paths. Okay, what is this? Model path is nothing but uh, the DLL or a functionality which we want to include in the unit testing this is under the include elements and you can see the exclude element also here you just need to exclude it the libraries which you are not required as of now in my project i don't probably i should not take the unit testing coverage for the unit testing library itself i should take only for the business logic so what i given i given this dll using uh, the regular expression model model i just given that unit testing project of sample uh, in the dll which is having this combination i should not take code coverage for that okay so let me go and take the code coverage report okay i got it and now I am seeing that I took a code coverage report for the only class library dot sample the one which you are which I told as a business logic here okay let me uh, give actual example like if I am not including this code let me comment and then uh, be run it again ready see 
it is showing two different DLLs. In other words, it will show all the DLLs inside the solutions. So unit test project dot sample it is showing, which is not required because it, this is the unit test project, and another one is uh, actual business logic. Okay. So now you understood that uh, what are the DLLs I should use when we are, when I am taking the unit testing. Okay. How to include the RAM setting files? Usually when you when you go to uh, analyze code coverage and then take a or test it won't include the uh, RAM setting files for that you need to go to the test settings in that select test setting file so once I click there probably this is part of my solution so I just click that files and open since I already open I'm not including it here so I just click cancel here so the file will be available here see it is selected here so whenever uh, next time when I running that analyze code coverage it will automatically take the consideration of the uh, rules which I set inside the rent settings files okay so you are seeing that how to execute the modules for the perfect code coverage just now okay and the next forthcoming videos i plan to include how to take uh, or how to write unit testing for uh, private methods that's really a uh, good one actually we have usually we can return unit testing for the public method because once we create the object of the class, uh, this will automatically available. Validate is the only public method here. Apart from that, I have uh, two private methods. So if I want to test the private method, how, how I can do? Let's wait for the next video. Thanks for watching this video. And please check all my videos in YouTube. Thank you.